The barbershop's the safe space. It's always been the safe space. And these are the things that um, I think we took for granted in our community. Like I'm saying, we discount the things because it doesn't have a certain status, but organically, it's like probably one of the best therapeutic environments you can have. But because it doesn't say it's a clinic, because it doesn't say, you know, that it's a PhD servicing you, you have this judgment. I'm not even say problems, speak about one particular person who I encouraged him during a rough time. And he shared with me because his family, he's scared about judgment from his family from a situation he went through with a relationship with a woman. And his best friends all have a perspective. So the barbershop is not your, not your immediate family. And they're not your immediate, like, circle of friends, right? It's your barber. So I'm not connected to the family immediately in most cases or your circle of friends in most cases. I'm, like, in a kind of like a, an island on my own when it comes to how people perceive, you know, my relationship with them. I do become a family member. I do become a friend. But... I'm the friend and the family member that doesn't have a connection to the people that he, they're most concerned about, like their perspectives, right? So they feel a lot more comfortable to share with me because I'm not going to immediately share whatever we discuss with family, share whatever we discuss with friends. It's like it's between the barber. So it's like I'm a de facto therapist. I am. But like, I'll just say de facto, right? Because it, it's just the way it is. They share because they're comfortable. It's a safe space. We built a relationship. They have confidence in me. I become a confidant. Then he had this relationship. It didn't go well. He was hit hard mentally from it. He was down. It was down to the point where he was having um, experiences of alopecia where you have ball spots just appearing in your scalp, right? And it happened for a while. And I kept saying, don't worry, man. I go, this is between stress, worry, diet. It's known that alopecia affects young men for a very short period of time, just based on these things. I'm, I'm not the, a physician to tell you. This is just what has been relayed to me from people who are physicians. But I always told them you could always check it out. Go to your physician. I, I, I never negate going to the professional. Just double check. So I told him to do that. He said, yes, no problem. He went and verified He's got to like take it easy on the stress level. So after a while, he bounces back, gets back in the dating game, right? Life is grand, gets married, has a child. Like this is years later. Or this is just a moment in his life where he was down from a relationship. He bounces back. And he tells me after he gets married, that Jez, I wanted to thank you. I said, why? Why do you want to thank you? He goes, he goes, during my toughest time, in my, when I had a bad relationship, he goes, all you did was encourage me and support me. And you were always positive. And he goes, that helped me through my time. 